The typical period for winter tyre usage in Germany is October to Easter. And therefore, last weekend, I decided to change back from winter tyres to summer tyres on my Tesla Model 3 Highland. Before starting, I made sure I have all the specifications right and all the tools required to do a proper job. So here are the basic tools you would need to change tyres, on any car for that matter. You would need a socket wrench and for the Tesla, the socket size is 21 millimeters. For tightening the lug nuts, you would require a torque wrench. The lug nut torque specification on the Teslas is 175 Newton meters or 129 foot pounds. But that's not all. To make sure you're able to lift the car without causing damage to the chassis or the battery compartment, you need what are called jack pads. I bought a set of four jack pads of Amazon. Each jack pad has a protrusion with a rubber ring which fits snugly into a corresponding hole on the underside close to the jack points on the car. You would also require a low profile hydraulic jack. You need low profile because the Tesla Model 3 has a rather low ground clearance and you need the minimum height of the jack to be at least 80 millimeters. The jack I bought has a lifting capacity of 2.5 tons which is more than sufficient. And with those tools, I was all set to start. This was my first time getting the aero wheel covers off. It wasn't so easy the first time, but after three wheels, I was doing it in less than a minute. During this exercise, one unforgettable lesson that I learned was that I should wear gloves. By the time I'd reached the fourth cover, my fingers were bleeding profusely. The edges of the wheel covers are kind of sharp, so you need hand protection. Before even bringing the hydraulic jack near your car, it's best to insert the jack pads, one in each hole. These holes on the underbody of your car are easy to spot. If you have a mirror or a camera, it's very easy to see those and insert the jack pads in position. Always remember to loosen the wheel nuts using the lug wrench before jacking up the car. Start with one lug nut and then move to the lug nut that is diametrically opposite in a star formation so that you would not stress out any particular lug or screw thread on the wheel. Maneuver the hydraulic jack carefully right underneath the jack pads. Make sure the valve of the jack is completely tightened clockwise before operating it. This tire change gave me a great opportunity to observe the internals of the wheel well and the mechanisms and linkages. It was quite interesting. Once the summer wheel is installed, the lug nuts are hand tightened for now. A proper tightening using the torque wrench is done later when the wheel is released from the jacked up position. Open the release valve of the hydraulic jack very gently so that the car is slowly lowered back onto the ground. It's advisable to remove the jack pads near the wheel that has just been changed so that you don't forget to remove them.
Roughly one hour later, I was done with all four wheels. And now the car is ready for the summer.